Alina Rabakina versus Petra Kvitova is the final for the Miami Open for 2023. And both ladies have to fight to get to this stage. Kvitova started the tournament off as number 15 seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on the Czech youngster Nuskova in a battle of the generations. But this was easy for Kvitova, winning in straight sets, 6-3, 6 love. In the third round, she'd take on the number 22 seed Vekic. And after a close second set, Kvitova would get through in straights, 6-4, 7 6. In the fourth round, she'd take on the qualifier Gracheva. And after a very close set in the second, Kvitova will get through 7576 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Kvitova will take on the number 18 seed Alexandrova. And after dropping the second set, would have to fight to win in three, 643663, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Kvitova will take on the unseeded Kastea, who had just taken out Sabalenka in the previous round. And after going down an early break, Kvitova would have to fight back to win, getting through in straights, 7564, to advance to the final. We're back in the start of the tournament off as the number 10 seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she takes on Kalinskaya, and after dropping the second set, Rabakina was forced to fight, eventually getting through in three, seven, five, four, six, six, three, to advance to the third round. In the third round, she'd take on Bedosa, the 21st seed, who had had a battle in her previous round, and after losing the first set and being down match point, Rabakina fought back to win, three, six, seven, five, six, three, to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she'd take on the unseeded Mertens, who'd beaten Kazakina and Martic along the way. And this was by far the best performance from Rebecca for the week. Getting through in straight sets, 6-4-6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rebecca would take on Trevison, the 25th seed. Getting through easily in straight sets, 6-3-6-love, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Rebecca would take on the number three, Pagula, who had just saved match points against Potapova to make it to this stage. And this was a very ugly match from both ladies, with chances for Pagula to win the first set. And a long rain delay after the first set, Rebecca regrouped. Getting through in straights, 7-6-6-4, to advance the final. These two ladies have played the two times before with the record split down the middle 1-1 and their last meeting actually being in Australia before the Australian Open in Adelaide with Kvitova getting the straight sets win. Kvitova's going to win this one. She needs to serve well. She served really well against Castella after the first probably 30 minutes of the match. She went down an early break, ended up coming back and playing very, very well after that. Against Alexandrova though, she did lose a couple of those service games so she needs to serve well and she needs to be aggressive. Rebecca is going to win this one. It also comes down to the serve but she seems to have some sort of a back problem maybe from what she had before for Indian Wells. She was struggling with a back injury, yet strapping on her back against Pagula in that semi-final. So she needs to manage that. And with the extra day off, that might be able to help her. But she also needs to be aggressive in this one. This is basically a battle of the baseline. Whoever can cross the baseline will win this match. I think Rebecca is going to win this one in a close three sets. I'm going to give Kvitova a set because she's got such experience. But Rebecca right now is just absolutely on fire. Sunshine double to be the fifth lady to do it. But let me know down in the comments below. What do you think is going to happen?